In our previous videos, we have shown the benefits of using accounting spreadsheets to maintain your accounting and bookkeeping records. In these video presentations, we demonstrated the day-to-day -day use of our easy accounting spreadsheets. And we are now creating a series of support videos to help our new users and potential customers on how to maximize the benefits of this system. During the course of this video, we demonstrate the following routines and procedures. Firstly, we show you how to activate the product. Then we examine and walk you through the standard settings. We then take a detailed look at the monthly worksheets. And finally, we review many of the system's standard reports. We have also created a further three videos covering basic Excel filtering techniques, how our system should be stored and backed up, and a comprehensive overview of the VAT processes, including the MTD submissions to HMRC. These additional videos can be viewed by following the links in the description section below, or following the links at the end of the video, or visiting our support page on our website. Finally, please do take the time to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to opt to receive notifications of new videos, updates and support. Many thanks for watching. The licensing tab holds all of your initial settings, including your business name, your VAT registration number if you are VAT registered, your accounting year start and end dates, your activation code, and the terms and conditions for the spreadsheet's use. When you download your file, the activation code is set to read temporary activation. This temporary activation setting allows you to use all of the product's facilities, including setup, reports, analysis and unrestricted use of the month one worksheet. In this temporary activation mode, you can fully evaluate the system and make sure that it meets your requirements. So please take your time, check it all out, and then once you are happy, apply for the full activation code by simply completing the activation request spreadsheet which is supplied as part of your download pack. Open up the activation request spreadsheet and enter your business name. If you are VAT registered then this should be the name in which your business appears on your VAT returns. Now enter your nine digit VAT registration number with no spaces or if not VAT registered, then enter your postcode. Enter the start date of your accounting period, then the end date of your accounting period. Finally, enter your order number as shown on your purchase confirmation email. Save the file and email it back to us. We will then use this file to generate your unique activation code which when applied fully unlocks the system. Once you receive your activation code, then you will need to enter exactly the same details into the Easy Accounting spreadsheet. The activation code now replaces the temporary activation and once the TNCs are accepted via the drop-down box, you are good to go. If you are VAT registered, then you will also receive your VAT filer username and password, the use of which is outlined in another of our videos. Now, a quick word on your accounting period. All businesses need an accounting period. In almost all cases, this will be for a full year of 12 months. The most common accounting years are the 6th of April to the 5th of April the following year, thus aligned to the UK tax year. 
another common accounting period, is the 1st of January to the 31st of December, i.e. mirroring the calendar year. If you have just started your business, then the default accounting period is date of starting your business until the first anniversary of your business, i.e. one year later. In fact, you can use almost any dates, but quite often these will be determined by your accountant. Please contact us if you are uncertain. All of our accounting spreadsheet products will have a General Settings tab, similar to the one shown on screen. The main components of these are 1. Your Accounting Period Calendar 2. Your Bank and Card Details, together with Opening Balances and 3. The VAT Rates Table, if you are VAT registered. Firstly, your 12 months Accounting Period if your accounting start dates are the first of any month and your end date is on the last day of any month, then the accounting year calendar will populate automatically and there is nothing more for you to do for this table. If, however, you are using the tax year, then your start date of the 6th of April will show at the start of the table and your end date of the 5th of April in the following year will show at the end of the table. Now you need to fill in the gaps. Your first month is April and the start date is already shown. Navigate to the end date on the same line and enter the last day of April, the 30th of the 4th, 23. That completes the month of April. In the next line, type in May in the month box and give this a start date of 1523. And once you hit enter, the rest of the calendar populates automatically. Your opening bank, card and cash balances need to be entered into the opening balances table. Simply find the opening balances for the first day of your accounting year. This information will be on your bank or credit card statements. If the balance is overdrawn, then please enter the figure as a negative value. The opening balances are automatically updated on the Month 1 worksheet starting balances. Finally, if you are VAT registered, then the current VAT rates have been pre-populated for you. For example, standard VAT is set at 20%. Reduce rate at 5% and the zero rate at 0% with an optional additional rate. Please ensure that no two rates are the same. And this completes the basic setup requirements. Your version of our easy accounting spreadsheet may include additional setup boxes. Please update these as required. Please note that the box marked NL code is for your accountant's use and should be left blank. The analysis settings worksheet is pre-populated with standard HMRC expense type descriptions. For most users, there is little or nothing for you to change on this worksheet. The analysis worksheet is separated into five individual tables comprising sales analysis, cost of sales analysis, sundry income, expenses analysis and balance sheet items. Some users may wish to change the sales analysis descriptions, just simply overtype the existing text. Other users may need additional expense descriptions. Please use the other expense descriptions and again overtype the existing text. If required, you can overtype most of the descriptions used, but that should not be necessary for most users. It is important to note that once you have changed and subsequently used an analysis description, then you should not change it again. 
Finally, you will find a more comprehensive explanation of the general settings and the analysis settings on the Notes tab. Please do take the time to review this. The monthly worksheets is where all your accounting data is entered. Starting with month one, you have 12 identical worksheets which will process your accounting data for the entire year. Your version of the software may vary slightly from that on screen, but the essential components are all the same. Each monthly worksheet comprises the dashboard at the top of the monthly worksheet then the data entry section in the middle, and finally a month summary section at the foot of the worksheet. Let's take a quick look at the dashboard. Firstly, you will have the date range for this month. This is picked up automatically from the accounting calendar on the general settings tab. It is important to note that all of this month's transactions must fall within this date range. The dashboard also contains a table detailing your opening bank balances for your various bank accounts. The month one starting balances are taken from your entries on the general settings tab. The receipts and payments are automatically calculated based on the transactions recorded in the data entry section below. Finally, the closing balance is simply the opening balance plus receipts and minus payments for the month. You should always reconcile these closing balances to your bank and card statements. On most of our accounting spreadsheets, you will also have three buttons. The first button will help you sort your data. The second button is to add more data lines to the monthly worksheet, whilst the last button takes you to the Menu tab. The dashboard also has a Totals section. This is used in conjunction with Excel's filtering tool, which is the subject of a separate video. Finally, depending on which version of our software you are using, you will have some other dashboard information to highlight various other monthly transaction information. Let's now examine the data entry section. You should populate each line, working from left to right. You must record the following. The date of the transaction, the transaction type, i.e. payment or receipt from the selected bank, an analysis for this transaction, and the VAT rate, if applicable, then the gross value of the transaction. The tax values and the net values are automatically calculated for you. The description field and the reference field can be populated with other salient transaction information, but they are not mandatory. It is good practice to enter each monthly transaction in a methodical manner and make sure that your tax calculations agree to the values on any underlying documentation. As you progress through the month, you will notice that all of your dashboard information changes to reflect each new transaction entered. When you run out of lines, simply click on the Add Lines button to add a further two lines to the Data Entry section. Now cursor down past the data entry section. Here we have the summaries for the month, detailing a short profit and loss section together with a detailed analysis of your tax or VAT figures for the month. If you are not tax or VAT registered, then a detailed analysis of your sales is shown instead. You can take a look at the Example Month tab to view and analyze various standard transactions. So, before you start entering data into the Month 1 worksheet, take a look at the Example Month worksheet. This worksheet contains a complete set of example data and also explains the use and the purpose of each of the dashboard and data entry fields. 
just position your cursor over any of these small red triangles. This will then activate a text box, giving you an explanation of the field and its purpose. Please do take some time to fully examine and appreciate this worksheet. I guarantee it will save you a lot of time and importantly, it will go a long way to helping you understand your accounting data. Once you have completed the monthly worksheets, all of your accounting and bookkeeping data is automatically transferred into a series of useful business reports. These reports will vary depending on the product you have purchased, but this video concentrates on those reports that come as standard on all of our accounting products. Firstly, we have a comprehensive 12 months at a glance profit and loss report. This report collects all of the monthly data for each sales and each analysis expense type. This gives you an instant overview of how your business is performing for each month of the year. Here you can compare month with month and keep up to date with cumulative profitability. Similar to the profit and loss report, you also have a year's summary schedule, which collects month by month totals for both your profit and loss sections and your balance sheet items. This report is in effect a month by month and cumulative trial balance. Your accountant will love this report. Next, we have the year's data at a glance worksheet. This worksheet collects all of the data from all of the monthly worksheets and brings them together on one page. So an entire year's transactions can be viewed at once. And then by using Excel's filtering tool, you can perform both simple and complex analysis of an entire year's data. We have also included a special report to allow your accountant to download a trial balance. This is great as they can then extract data from your file and import it directly into their systems via the CSV worksheet. Whilst these are the standard reports, there are many other complementary worksheets covering assets, inventory, debtors and creditors. Please review all of these to gain a full and comprehensive overview of your accounts. We do hope that you found the contents of this presentation both useful and informative. Now, this video is one of four presentations that we use as a support tool for our Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products. The four videos are, firstly, how to create trusted locations and store files that use Excel macros. Secondly, how to use Excel's filtering tool to examine your spreadsheet data. Then, how to use spreadsheets to keep your monthly accounting records. And finally, Making Tax Digital, how to use spreadsheets to collect and submit your VAT. You can view these videos by following the links in the description section below. And finally, please do take the time to subscribe to our channel. Thank you once again for watching. If you like the idea of keeping your accounting and bookkeeping records in Excel, then why not view our promotional videos for the Easy Accounting Spreadsheet products? The first is how to keep your accounts using a spreadsheet. And the second is how to keep your accounts in Excel, a guide for small businesses.